Good morning, guys. Um, today I'm out with my friend uh, Thomas. It's my friend Juan and um, and his doggies. So we took the car out to Arenas Blancas before sunrise, and it was absolutely stunning because nobody was out there. It was just us. As you can see, the sun is just slowly coming up right next to the ocean. And you have this enormous space here. Thomas and Juan, dogs. And it feels like you're on Mars or you're like on the moon or something like that. You have this amazing landscape and what is also so great about this island is just to have this space. It's enormous space around you and there's nobody else. And then you're at the same time right next to the ocean. And that's something that I thought was special but apparently isn't that special on the island. It is the Punta de la Sal. And uh, again, you know, if you still need some salt. Um, But you really have to be careful, um, it's very slippery and you don't want to fall. It's not, it's not a pretty one if you slip here somewhere because you'll land on rock. Juan here, one of the fastest people I've ever seen on foot, barely could catch up with him. But you know, then my problem is I stop every two meters and have to film or take a picture or something. So it's time to take a little break. I don't know who was male or tired, the dogs or us. Uh, this, by the way, is Moro, a presa canario. Here comes Pancho, a Staffordshire Terrier mix. Um, so especially Moro is like a big dog. And when he was greeting me in the morning, I have to say, you know, like, he came out of darkness and uh, ran towards me and for the moment you feel like oh man you know what a big dog but he couldn't be sweeter and the same is true for Pancho so really sweet dogs so that was a really early start this morning uh, it was great to come out here with the doggies and um, Thomas and Juan. I've been out here quite, quite a few times. But first of all, now there's no hair in the way anymore, and uh, it's always amazing. Feels like you're on the moon here. Got way too much equipment though. So I guess we're going to Verdal as well, and then go back um, and have something for breakfast. What we definitely deserve because that was a long, long path here, long walk, um, but it's so beautiful to be up that early um, and being out in nature, obviously, is always great. So, I lost the boys, I'm a bit behind, got tracked away with uh, shooting stuff, but in a bit I'll catch up with them and then we go to the Odal. Super windy here today. So talk about wind, this is Verodal, the Red Beach, and it was so windy that I could barely stand on my feet. Again, a great reminder of the power of nature. Um, unfortunately, it's also not the best thing for um, sound, so I have to apologize for the sound. But let's see what I have to say about that. something I definitely didn't. Uh, I think I was saying something along the lines that even though I have no hair left it's still standing up <laughs> because it's so windy. Um, again, you know, uh, not the best day to record sound, but what an amazing place.
Hey guys, so this was an interesting day. This morning I went out with Thomas and Juan and uh, it was uh, just a, a great morning to be out and about so early. Then I just wanted to go to the Maceta, but um, there were so many people there and I'm just not used to have that many people around. So uh, I, I drove to the secret spot. I will not mention a name now because don't tell anybody. One car when I got here and they just left. So I have this whole place for myself. It is July, so it's high season here as well, but that doesn't mean, you know, that you don't have your space. Uh, so I'm really happy I did that. Yeah, the thing is with the vlog though, um, I've been thinking about how to continue. I think I just wanted to make videos and not have the pressure of having to upload all the time, even though, you know, that would be ideal, but it's just too much. I mean, anybody who does it, I'm really happy for you, and I think it's really amazing, but it totally takes its toll. So I can't really recommend it. I did it for some time, and I did it like in a small scale. I'll just want to change the format a little bit, because I just feel it's time for that, and it's just time to do things differently. So I started this day today at Arenas Blancas and I'm finishing the day at Arenas Blancas. I just came down here one more time after spending the morning here uh, to shoot some uh, pictures for Instagram because I haven't used Instagram in forever and then a friend of mine said, look, you know, why don't you use Instagram as well? And I forgot how much fun it is. I mean, it's super easy. You can say, well, you know, you just click some stuff. But especially here with all this, these little things that I think are so interesting and uh, important to see. So um, I was shooting some pictures of that stuff and uh, now I'm going uh, to meet Thomas again. Actually, I'm invited for dinner. Ah, but it's so much wind here, it's crazy. Anyway, um, yeah, sometimes I wonder what I would do if there would be nothing uh, like photography. Um, I, I, to me, you know, some people always say, why do you drag that camera with you everywhere? But that makes life, to me, more interesting and I yeah just feel like a kid again you know just exploring with the camera this world that I really don't uh, understand well I really don't understand it but still you know uh, it's just fun to to try to understand it by snapping some pictures of it and then you know you look at the images and you're like wow it's really beautiful but I still don't understand what's going on here so thank you so much that was it for today uh, hop in the car now and Go back to Chiga Day, back there somewhere. And uh, I see you guys tomorrow. This is the new vlog. Um, let's see how it develops, but uh, I have uh, my energy back, what I'm really excited about, and uh, we'll see what happens. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And don't forget to like and subscribe. You know, I haven't said it in a long time, but I should probably mention it. Um, so I see you guys tomorrow. Bye for now. Feeling in my bones I can feel it in my veins Hands in the sky I can feel the winds of change